Happy Thursday, Mid-Missouri. You know, the forecast today, somewhat simple. We could essentially give you the forecast with this one graphic alone. Satellite and radar early this morning is showing some low clouds overhead with more of that cloud cover back towards the north and west. And that's exactly where our flow is from today, out of the west and northwest, both here at the surface and aloft. And so we're going to pull more of this just right down into Mid-Missouri. We're going to see a cloudy day. And yes, we've even got a chance for a few flurries. Now, that chance is greatest north of I-70. And again, temperatures right now here at the surface are uh, going to be pretty close to where they are this afternoon. So expect a pretty stagnant day, an overcast day, a gloomy and cool one. That's about it. Well, let's dive a little closer into future track again. Temperatures early this morning, cooling by a few degrees, warming by a few degrees through the afternoon. Plenty of cloud cover throughout the day. By lunchtime, we may have a few passing light snow showers, maybe a flurry or two outside of it. Overall, though, no impacts are expected, but you might see a pretty snow shower or two. Again, the best chance for that's going to be north of I-70 and kind of closer to to the low itself, so maybe along the north and eastern edge of mid-Missouri, but that's all going to rotate through. We don't really see a break in the cloud cover until likely into the overnight hours, so again, sunshine is going to be hard to come by. Now tomorrow, you're waking up to, yet again, more cloud cover and maybe a few spits of snow, and we're going to see more of that throughout the day. Friday is really a continuation of today with temperatures actually just a few degrees cooler, so it doesn't get any better anytime soon. If you're hoping for some warmer weather and, of course, more of that sunshine. We may see a few peaks in the cloud cover, but again, we're staying essentially cloudy all the way into the weekend. And then here is our upper level flow. This is that cold air that's arrived, and it's going to stick around for some time. Uh, you can see it doesn't really go anywhere. We see a lift in that temperature just a little bit as we head in towards Sunday. Sunday, we're a little warmer, but we're talking upper 30s maybe at 40 as we watch our next little wave approach out of the southwest. We're going to maybe turn our flow just out of the south or out of the west, just above our heads and here at the surface, heading into this system. But notice this system. Watch what happens. It's a little bit of a V-shape as we head uh, into the end of the weekend as it sits to our west. Watch what happens to that as it gets closer. It kind of falls apart, right? It gets real shallow. It's a weakening system as it approaches us. We may see uh, some precipitation with it, but there's still some question is how much precipitation could we see? Is it going to stick together? Are we going to continue to see that precipitation by the time it gets here? Um, and this is what we call our rain snow line. If you get close to that line, you have a chance at seeing maybe a little bit of snow. Again, it's close. We could find ourselves too far to the south of that, and it may end up as rain, but again, we may see some snow out of it. The questions are too big at this point to give any details further than that, so stay tuned to the forecast as we get closer. But Monday, we're tracking at least a chance for some precipitation. Thursday and Friday, we're dry outside of a few flurries, and that's really about it. Saturday and Sunday, we've got a better chance at some sunshine. It doesn't really help our temperatures much. We're in the low 30s on Saturday, potentially the coldest day we'll see in the entire seven-day forecast. Sunday, we're warming again ahead of this next system that comes in on Monday. Chances are not great. We've got a potential for maybe a little rain or snow, and, and that's about it. We're looking dry into early next week.